things falling by the wayside. Ghana were the sole quarter-final representatives of the host continent. No pressure there then. Just the hopes of 53 countries and every single neutral fan in the world on their shoulders. Ghana had the chance to, to put Africa's foot in the semi-finals of a World Cup for the first time. Everyone was supporting the underdog, obviously. You're in Africa, the first World Cup in Africa. You want an African team to do well. And Ghana with that team. And here they are at sort of on a groundbreaking moment. They were more than holding their own and even scored first against Uruguay. Oh, and Montari scores! Before Diego Forlan equalised with a stunning free kick. It's Diego, Diego Forlan equalises with a stunner! But it'd be Forlan's strike partner, Luis Suarez, who'd make all the headlines. To see that um, was really gut-wrenching. Probably the most shocking moment of the entire World Cup. I don't know if I could ever forgive him as a player for, for doing that. It was a nail-biting finish. And then, in the very last minute of extra time, and with penalties looming, came the moment that shocked Africa. But it's a clear handball. Hey. Come, rhythms to make your head jerk. Hey. It was horrible to watch. Just this huge sense of injustice when he did it. You know, people standing up. How dare you do that? Send him off, send him off. Yeah, obviously it was shocking when Suarez handballed it, blah, blah, blah. But for me, it was just great to finally see a good bit of goalkeeping. I wouldn't want to be too controversial on this show, but I think it probably was a handball. 